Before we get started, I have an Instagram account I'd like you to check out. It'd mean a lot if you followed it, and you get to look at all the drawings I've drawn. Okay, bye. Hey, it's me, your favorite artist that you're obviously subscribed to, and this is the first part of the anatomy series. Today I'm going to show you how to create a proportional female anime head. It's going to be uh, angled, three-fourths, and all that. Please excuse the simplistic art style I've chosen to draw, and it was for the sake of an easier to understand video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to start off drawing a regular circle, just a normal circle. Okay, pretty easy. From one fourth of the bottom of the circle, what we're going to do is draw a straight line. And this is going to represent where our edge of the circle goes into our cheek. I'll, I'll show you that later. Depending on what angle you want the face to be looking at, how far you want it, we're going to draw a, a straight line. It doesn't matter how long that line is, it just matters that it's a line. The reason I left a little bit of space here is to create a 3D illusion that the circle that we have is a sphere. So what you want to do is draw a curved line going from the st your straight circle to the top of the circle. It has to be a curved line. So it gives the illusion that it's a 3D object. Now what you want to do is draw a tangent line from the bottom of our circle. So this is our guidelines. This is going to help us draw the cheek and our uh, jawline and all that pizzazz. From the one fourth line you made to the bottom tangent, what you want to do is draw an inward line, a line going inward, just like that. Now from this point to our middle line, what you want to do is draw a line going outward into a line going inward. This is our cheek. Our, uh, like depending on your style, it can be flat, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you that our cheek is not flat, it is rounded. So right now, here we have our entire cheek. To draw, our, uh, to draw our jawline, what we're gonna do is go from this, our chin, and we're gonna draw a uh, circle from there to our bottom tangent, about like that. Since this is anime, of course the jawline is curved, but you know, it's anime, not realistic. Now from this point, what you wanna do is draw a line upward. Now what this represents is the area of our face, and that's going to be useful for when we're drawing the eyes, the, yeah, just the width of the eyes. And then if it bothers you, you can connect the, uh, you can connect the jawline to right here. So this is about where our ear is going to be, and it's also where our eyes are going to, like it's going to help us space our eyes evenly. So here we have our head. Congratulations, you drew your head. And now you're asking yourself, where do I put my eyes? Where do I put my nose? Where do I put my mouth? Trust me, this is the easiest part. You already got the hardest part out of the way. Now you, this is pretty much the easy part. What we're first gonna do is we're gonna erase some of the guidelines that we don't need anymore. So we do not need, ooh, wrong tool. Well, we basically don't need any lines except for our two vertical lines that we drew. So we don't need this, none of this. We don't need any of this. And we don't need this. And we don't need, we can kind of clean up our head a little bit. We can take these out. Now see, look, look at that. Oh. Look at that, we got our head. That is a beautiful looking head. That is perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to space out our eyes, nose, and mouth. Now this is the easiest part. Want to know why? Because first of all, our eyes are in the middle, direct middle of our head. And sometimes in anime, it's a little bit more lower, but just know that, yeah, our eyes are directly in the middle of our head. Now, I know you wouldn't call this middle, but animes typically have bigger top heads, but bigger foreheads. But for this for this thing, I'm just gonna say that it's in the middle. Now, wanna know what's easier? The nose, the tip of it is between the, uh, the eyes and the bottom of the chin. So that is where our nose is. Wanna know what else is easy? that our mouth is between the bottom of our chin and our nose. It is that easy. Eyes, middle of the head. Nose, middle of the eyes and bottom of chin. And then mouth, <laughs> between the nose and the bottom of the chin. It's that easy. And then our ears are typically in the same area as our eyes. And that's why we drew this line here, is to connect our ears and have enough space for our face. And there, that's our head with the guidelines for our eyes and our nose. So now we're going to draw guidelines for our eyes and they should be about as big as the ears and like your eye size is based on your style. Okay. I like to have like uh, medium eyes 
Well, most people like to have big eyes or some people like to have small eyes. It's all up to you. What does matter, what does matter is the spacing of the eyes. You don't want that to be too narrow or too wide. So how do we get the width of our eyes? So we have to make a circle that is one third of this entire space. So one third. And we're going to draw it right about here, a little bit biased towards the right. So we can have space to draw our left eye. It's going to, yeah. So it should be about that wide. So see? Now what we can do is make this drawing transparent and we can start drawing over it. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to outline the entire head just so I don't have to have the guidelines anymore when I un when I unhide it. So now for the ear, what I usually like doing is making the top part round but the bottom part more uh, angular. Then I draw two C's and then another C here. Now you can you can see that I'm drawing a little bit sloppy, but that is only because this tutorial is to show you the anatomy of a human head, not the not how to draw it or how to draw the individual features of it. You know, that's a for a different time. But for right now, I'm just showing you where to place everything. Now in my eyes, this is a little crooked, so I am going to fix that. I'm going to fix these two lines just to be a little bit more straight about like that. Okay. Now that we have our guidelines, we can obviously draw the eyes. Now, again, these aren't going to be beautiful eyes, but they're going to be enough to show you where to place them. So what I like to do is I like to draw two points like this, just to show me where the eye should be located at and to keep the evenness of them. A tip for eyes is to always draw them together. Never draw them, never draw one eye and then draw the other eye separately. You know, that just, that's super hard. That's why you always see the memes of like, uh, when you first draw the eye and then when you try to draw the other eye. Yeah, the problem is you need to draw both eyes at the same time and this makes it a lot easier to draw them evenly. So now the bottom of the eyes are entirely dependent on you. It's like where you want to draw them. So if you want big eyes and you can draw big eyes if you want small eyes and you can have small eyes. So I'm drawing big eyes for right now. So I'm gonna have them like this. And then pupils, then the eyelids, and then the eye, top of the eyelids, and then there. Those are our eyes. And then I'm gonna draw the eyebrows. Okay, so you can adjust the eyes once you need to to be more inside the square if you accidentally like drew outside of the square so that's what i'm going to do because i did actually draw outside of the square so i'm going to fix that then horizontally flip it to make sure everything is even and then what we're going to do is make the thing uh hide the hide the guidelines and just kind of fix what we have here i am going to fix the pupils because they are a little bit uneven and we're going to fix them to be more straight. So see, now we got the eyes. The eyes are very beautiful. I'm going to add a little bit of shading just to add some depth into our eyes. So there are eyes. For the nose, it's literally simple. It's just an anime nose is literally just a dot. But what I like doing is I like to draw an arrow and then the shadow of the nose. See? Now we got that. And now we're going to draw the mouth, which for anime is literally just two lines with the space inside of them. And there. There's our face. Now you can fix some features. What I'm going to do is make the eyes a little bit more higher just to fix them. We're going to put them a little bit more high. And then everything else is going to move with the eyes since the nose is in between the eyes. And then the mouth should be a little bit more higher up. So now we got our face. Horizontally flip to make sure everything is even. Move this a little bit this way. And you can make some adjustments. So I am going to adjust my eyes to be a little bit more thicker. And there we go. We got our face. Evenly proportional everything that you want in a face.
Hold on, I'm gonna bring this a little bit more higher. And yeah, okay. So now that we got our head, I'm gonna go on to hair. Even though I do have a separate hair tutorial, I am gonna show some mistakes that I did make in the other one. So one mistake that I made is that the source point is a source line. The reason I made a point was because of the perspective. But because of this drawing, we're gonna make it a source line. So all of this hair should be coming from the source line. So we're gonna draw some bangs here. And the way you draw bang or like hair is depend like entirely dependent on you. If you want to draw a bunch of strands, if you want to clump all that hair together so it looks more neater. I like to have like a more middle approach. So here are my bangs. And we're going to give her a ponytail just because I want to. So I'm going to from here I'm going to draw the side the side hairs. And then because we're giving her a ponytail, all of this hair that is coming to the ponytail. So like all of this hair should be coming from the source line. So pretend that it was coming down here and into here. So all of this hair is coming to the hairline. And now this is our beautiful proportionate, a little bit ugly because I had to sketch it face and then if you think the hairline is a little bit flat what you can do is always increase the size of it so now our hair head is a little bit less flatter now obviously this drawing isn't perfect and that is because I had to make it within like the simplistic terms of this video actually I want to give her pigtails <laughs> all right pigtails now the yeah once again this drawing was for anat anatomy sake and not style sake your eyes could look completely different than mine your nose could look completely different than mine but what really matters is the placement and the anatomy of it and that was really the whole point of this video. It wasn't how neat my uh, drawings looked, but it just, it was that it looked proportional. And I wanted to help you guys with that same problem. Cause I do see a lot of people who make the high eyes too high or the nose too low or whatever. So I really hope this did help you or at least taught you something. If you obviously didn't like my style, then reference off of like other artists that you like. That's the whole point of learning that you reference off of a bunch of other artists that you liked instead of just one. So I hope you build off of this tutorial and implement your own styles and stuff to it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.